Christmas time in Gdynia has come with a snowy, beautiful winter. The world, covered with soft down, was quietly promising something special and calling out to the sea. Therefore, without thinking much, we headed for a completely new adventure. However, before we went out onto the water, we first had to dig out the yacht. Have you ever thought that one of the most important pieces of equipment on a seagoing yacht might be a broom? After finding the cleats and tearing off the ropes from the deck, we were finally able to set off. Dzień dobry, zgłaszam wyjście na zatokę dwie osoby. Dwie osoby na zatokę, proszę. What makes such a frost sailing so different? First of all, a strategy for surviving in low temperatures. I need to reassure those of you who are not fans of the cold. That's possible. There are probably countless theories about how many layers you should put on and many ideas about merino socks, foam wellingtons, snow boots, ski gloves, and other accessories. At this point, it's necessary to mention the members of the Facebook group All Things Sailing, where we recently asked about winter sailing clothing concepts. You guys gave us numerous and relevant answers. Some of your advice has already come in handy. Thank you! It's also quite a challenging task to move around the frozen deck. Fortunately, the sunshine that day helped us a little in our fight against the lack of good grip. Sailing is one thing, but you can also imagine how carefully mooring needs to be done. On an icy berth, false moves are out of question. Takiego widoku, powiem szczerze, jeszcze nie widziałem chyba. Stąd, bo nigdy w zimie tutaj nie pływaliśmy. A na dodatek, już pomijając fakt, że śnieg ostatni raz był tutaj 10 lat temu. Także... To na razie. To ja idę się obrzać. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you prepare well for a winter sailing, you can then admire this cold marine world with a real pleasure. And you'll notice that everything is sharper, more intense and more vivid. There are no words to describe it. We spent two Christmas days on the Gulf of Gdańsk. It was neither too long nor too intense cruise, but it left us with beautiful experiences and an appetite for more. During these two days, we didn't notice any other boats. Most of the yachts are waiting for spring on the heart. But we know that some of you do sail in winter conditions. We are very curious about your winter sea stories. Let us know where you sail, on what kind of yachts and in what cruise. Your comments may encourage those who haven't yet tried to sail in winter. Yet, it's so worth it! <laughs>